Hey everyone and welcome back to a new star sketch video. Um, I am super excited for this video. I been wanting to do a paint with me again for the longest time ever and today we're definitely doing that but it's going to be a little bit different because we're not exactly using a normal canvas. We're actually going to be painting this ceramic dragon. Um, so basically my boyfriend loves 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 dragons and I saw this when we were at Target yesterday and he bought it for me which is so cute and I'm gonna paint it for him so this whole video is going to be me painting this dragon we're not gonna be using the paint that comes with it just because you know it's not the it's not the best quality so we'll be using my uh, paint to paint it um, I'm just opening it for you guys and if you guys want to get one for yourself again I, I found it at Target the Mondo Llama brand that they have sorry if that's loud for you guys Ugh, okay I'm gonna put trash on the floor <laughs> uh, but we are gonna probably use this paintbrush though to be honest um, just because I don't know maybe it'll help to get all the finer details of the dragon and then we won't be using these paints so we're just going to take out the dragon itself and holy crap this is really good quality for a ceramic dragon to be honest um it even has little teeth i can see um and yeah i feel like this is going to be super cool to paint i've never painted anything like this before but i am super excited to paint something like this again we are not going to be using the paint feel free to use it if you want to but I am <laughs> so we're gonna be using my um paint brushes and stuff as well i'm going to add the mandolin one to the collection it's a bit short but that's okay and then i'll also be using my uh paint uh paint puck i always forget the name of it but it's just something i use to clean my brushes as i go and then also I will be using one of these face cloth thingies that I got from Dollar Tree, like the expandable facial towel things. Um, and we will definitely be needing um, one of these, AKA a paint palette. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this off. Actually, I'll put it on this side. Da, da, da. And this is gonna be real time. So I'm gonna be talking as I do this because I think that it would be pretty dang cool for me to do this while in real time you guys can see me do the process of it and um, feel free to paint something along with me and um, yeah so uh, because my boyfriend loves the color red I will be using different shades of red we have bright red here we even have cherry cobbler red and I think this one's just bright red or just red in general so we're gonna be using all three of those and then I think for the eyes, I just want to go with blue eyes. So we're going to be using the um, neon blue for that. I am, however, going to move my cup here. Um, I also got this new tumbler cup from Target yesterday. Well, my boyfriend bought it for me. Basically, it's our one month, uh, the day that you guys are seeing this. So that's why I'm making this video. It's more or less a video for him but also for you guys to get a little paint with me video so i don't really know how i'm gonna do this i have to paint all of the red first which i think i'm going to use the um cherry cobbler for the body so just shake it shake it shake it up <laughs> uh but yeah so how are you guys been doing how's your summer going so far i hope that you're you know having a fun summer and doing everything that you would like to do this summer um for me summer is just getting started like i have so much planned and i usually don't have a super whole lot planned during the summer usually it's like you know um fourth of july time that i'm typically busy because you know cookouts and such and then there's kind of a lull after that but i just went to a celebration of life yesterday for my friend uh, so that was really nice and then um, this weekend this coming weekend basically um, I will be hosting a little party with me and my friends it's kind of been like a monthly thing that I've been trying to do so um, that's been super nice too and then um, 
I also have a couple cookouts to be going to this this month, which is kind of nice. I like going to cookouts um, and dressing all nice and, you know, just do my thing. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, what else is going on? Um, I've just been, like, doing a lot of summer activities outside. I don't know if you guys have noticed on my TikTok lately, but I did do a sidewalk chalk art video recently. I'm doing another one this week. Uh, I just wanted to do a tester just to see if people would like it. And people are loving it, so I'm going to continue that series um, over on my TikTok. I also have been doing like a my mind when I'm chill, aka when I'm high, <laughs> uh, kind of series, and people have been loving that series as well. So I've been continuing that because that's just like more of like my thoughts, but also you know you get to see kind of a different side of me <laughs> when it comes to that. Um, and then, yeah, I just been, I have, however, I, I wanted to kind of talk about this kind I wanted to have it be like an Erin Talks video, but I'm like, oh, I'll just include it in with my paint with me here. Um, basically I have been feeling kind of, well, not now since I'm like, you know, dive deep into a project thing. Um, but I think over the last couple of weeks, I've been really feeling kind of lost and directionless and, you know, just kind of not super sad, but I was kind of emotional. Um, I think it also in part with that, um, I was also going through my time of the month. So that doesn't necessarily help anything out, especially because every other cycle, I have one cycle that's like super painful, like I can't even get out of bed type of painful. And then I also go through ones that are like super emotional. And this past cycle was definitely super emotional for me. Um, I was just like reflecting a lot about life and stuff and, um, but I did a tarot reading to kind of help me out and it did help a lot because it did confirm that I was just not motivated or inspired or things like that and I want you all to know that if you're kind of feeling the same way you're not alone because <laughs> I'm going through the same exact thing I know it may seem everyone seems a certain way online you know everyone tries to make themselves look their best you know but just remind yourself that people are also going through things mentally personally what have you so um if you're ever feeling like you know that you're alone in that try to remind yourself that you're not um there's plenty of people that are probably going through something similar so just remind yourself of that <laughs> um that's been like a really helpful thing for me also i've been in the process of talking with um somebody about me possibly getting a part-time job which would be exciting um basically i would still be doing star sketch but star sketch for me has been just kind of like a side hustle hobby right now i'm not really making a whole lot from it if i'm going to be completely honest with you guys so that's why i'm like debating on getting a part-time job so then i can use that money to save up for you know moving out and stuff like that because I'm not gonna be living with my parents forever um <laughs> so yeah and I think one person that's been really helping me kind of think about all of this stuff and just kind of you know make a plan is my boyfriend he's been really really like supportive and also just like pushing me to do certain things that you know make me happy and you know, pushing and like not pushing it to the point of like, um, uncomfortability for me, but more or less just having an open discussion about things like, you know, do I plan on driving in the future? Which I do want to, it's just, I'm really scared of it if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And I think what we've talked about this here on the channel, but, um, I had a really scary experience happen the last time that I went for my driver's license and ever since that incident I've just been really afraid to go behind the wheel but at the same time I've never really exposed myself so I feel like if I just 
went behind the wheel, I feel like it wouldn't be that bad. So that is something that I am currently pondering about, which would help because if I do end up getting a part-time job, then I don't have to rely on other methods of transportation, you know? I mean, my mom could easily bring me somewhere, whatever, but I don't want to have to rely on people. I want to start being a little bit more independent, so. And that way, if I just want to take a ride to Michael's just to get inspired, I can. If I want to go to Dollar Tree just to look at things, I can. Um, you know, or if I want to go see my boyfriend, you know, I can. <laughs> So it's just, it would help out a lot with different things. So yeah, um, wow, it's only been 10 minutes. I feel like it was longer than that, but um, just paying this dragon, Durgan. Uh, that's what me and my boyfriend call dragons, Durgans. Um, and you might be asking, why is he so into dragons? Um, he is really into Dungeons and Dragons. Um, if you guys have ever heard of it before, it's basically kind of like a role-playing uh, game that he plays with friends and stuff. And I'm still learning more about it. Um, I'm doing my own personal research on it because I'm kind of intrigued by it. Um, I like fantasy things. Um, I know not everybody is into that, but I am definitely certainly into that. Um, also, speaking of like fantasy stuff fantasy or just games in general one game that I've been obsessed with that my my boyfriend has that he'll bring over um, when he comes over is villainous holy crap if you guys have never played that and you're a Disney fan highly recommend it especially if you like strategy games I've been obsessed with it that's been like my nice little comfort board game lately every time he comes over I'm like can you bring villainous and any of the expansions you have <laughs> Um, cause it does come with expansions for like, you know, other villains that you can play as. Um, he only has one ex expansion, um, but I definitely want to get the whole collection, honestly. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I probably wouldn't get, um, I'd get the Star Wars one, but I don't think I would get the Marvel one just because I'm not super into Marvel, but if he wanted it, then like, cool he'll have the marvel expansions i'd have the other ones so and then we'd have the complete set <laughs> uh so that's it's something i've been you know ex excited about slash diving deep into um it makes me kind of want to get back into disney dreamlight valley that's a game that i just haven't played lately um it's not because i don't want to it's just simulator games are just you need a lot of time and effort put into it and I just I don't know whenever I just want to play something I just want to play it and be done and move forward type of a thing I need some more paint here oh sorry I actually hit the tripod I hate when I do that um this dragon gonna turn out so cute I can't wait to give it to my boyfriend I told him I'm gonna give it to him the next time I see him which he's coming up here on Sunday um for that party I was talking about so um I really wanted to at least get it started on a video um not quite sure if I'll I want to you know what I wanted to show the whole process that's what I wanted to do from the beginning so you guys are definitely getting the whole process in this video so don't you worry about that um I was debating it but I'm like no we're gonna paint the whole thing and talk and just catch up and all that um but yeah, so that's been like my game obsession. I'm still into Fortnite, still into all that. Um, another thing I kind of want to get started into is like paper crafts. And I feel like that that would be something that I can incorporate with Star Sketch. Um, like making cards and, you know, um, just stuff like that kind of a thing. Uh, making bookmarks even um, that's something I really want to get into is just like putting my art onto bookmarks um, another thing I want to get into is annotating books I really want to get into reading I don't know re uh, book talk has been popping up for me lately uh, um, so that is definitely something that I 
Um, I, I actually, I'll show you guys. I actually bought um, from Dollar Tree uh, like annotating flags and everything too. So I'm like, I kind of want to. And today's kind of like a perfect day to do it. Um, if I get not bored with art, but just like if I'm waiting for something to dry or something, um, I can just, you know, whip out a book, start annotating it, which I kind of want to do with one of my books, which is Catcher by Kaylin Nicholson, because I haven't read it in a, such a long time and I never finished it, but I feel like that I would be super into it if I started annotating it, which I first need to learn how to annotate, um, which I plan on learning about. I've been wanting to learn more things. I don't know, because I'm not in, I'm taking a break from school right now for the summer. I'm just like, kind of wanting to do my own self-learning stuff, which is also why I've been researching Dungeons and Dragons, because it's almost like I'm a little student learning <laughs> about Dungeons and Dragons, uh, but yeah. I'm trying to get into this like, I hate this word, but I'm trying to get into this little crevice. <laughs> it's not working. Me. I don't want to put too, too much, so. But yeah, how are you guys have been doing? What have you guys been up to um, this summer? Um, have you been diving into any new hobbies or crafts or anything? Like I said, I really wanna get into paper crafts. Um, I would use it with my Cricut, but currently my sister is bother uh, bothering, borrowing my Cricut um, for her own hobby sake, so. There won't be any new uh, Star Sketch stickers anytime soon, but that is okay. I could focus on making paintings and the paper crafts and just focus on other things besides just stickers and prints because I feel like that's what everybody does now. I feel like there's so many sticker shops now. It's kind of like, whoa, like I don't know where to get my stickers. Like I just feel like stickers are popping off, but I don't know how long they will be so that's why I haven't done a whole lot with stickers um but yeah this dragon is looking really cute sorry for being quiet I'm just trying to focus on outlining the eye. Uh, now we're gonna go on this side. This dragon's so cute. I can't wait to give it to him. He was like, five dollars? Yeah, they were only five dollars, which is insane. So I highly, highly recommend getting your own to paint if you like dragons or there was also like a dinosaur pack if you like dinosaurs. Trippy draws. I don't know if you're watching this. I doubt it, but that would be a cool video idea is like for you to like tripify one of those that would be cool as heck um well, yeah just painting this durgan um trying to think what else to talk about um oh he also got me speaking of dragons uh, my boyfriend also got me yesterday, besides this to paint and besides the water, um, I also got some new Sharpies for art because I needed them. <laughs> uh, but also I got um, this little dragon stuffed animal and it's so cute. Um, supposedly it makes sounds if you squeeze it or whatever, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to uh, pull the thing to make it do that because that would freak me out at night if I was like cuddling it and then all of a sudden I just hear noises from it like I'd low key kind of scary so I'm just not gonna pull off the plastic part for that um <laughs> that would be quite scary if I'm gonna be honest with you 
to like wake up to that and like think that you have like a monster in your room or something. But yeah, my boyfriend currently is in Long Island. Uh, so shout out to all my New York people watching. <laughs> uh, he's there for work, so I miss him. But he's got to do what he's got to do, and then he'll be home on Thursday at some point. And then, yeah. Oh, I got in the eye a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. It's not a mistake. It's just a happy little accident. In the words of Bob Ross. This is very therapeutic, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've I've only painted like something ceramic one other time, but like this is actually kind of nice to do. It's just different, you know? It's also kind of a rainy day out, so I figured doing some painting and some other art stuff today would be good. Because I'm inside anyways. Um but yeah. Ooh, sorry, I accidentally hit the charger man let me know if you guys decide to get one of these or just like any of those like paint your own kit thingies that would be super fun um gonna outline layer I'll go back over it with white don't you guys worry I want this dragon to be looking fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not like that. I just want it to look good because my boyfriend will be displaying it in his room and, you know, whoever comes over, he'll be like, my girlfriend painted that. <laughs> I like how it's like a dark red too. I feel like, I don't know. I like this color. That way the brighter red can stand out a little bit more once we get to there. Okay, okay. I'm gonna hold one of the wings so then I can do this part here. It kinda looks like a Pokemon, if I'm, not, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, now that I'm looking at it, but that makes it even better because my boyfriend also likes Pokemon. I do like Pokemon too. It's just, I like, never put a ton of time into it like my brother had like one of those you know binder full of you know pokemon cards and whatnot but i would just share with him every time we played or whatever i was more or less into like disney <laughs> disney stuff i am so sorry i keep hitting the tripod oh i hate when that happens um If I get quiet, just focusing. <laughs> I was debating on tripifying this, but you know what? I want it to look like a dragon for him, and I don't want to like add trippy doodles to it. I might get my own um, if they come out with other other animals. Um, my favorite is a panda, so I would totally tripify a panda. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I highly recommend this. It's very therapeutic. Especially on a rainy day like today. Like, ugh. It was like a nice weekend and then it started to get rainy yesterday and then now we're back to rain again. I feel like it's been raining too much lately. Too, too much. Just want it to be sunny so I can go outside, do sidewalk talk art, go on my hot girl walks. I can't do that, <laughs> but that's okay. I can just, you know, it's not that bad. I can just stay inside and veg out and watch stuff while I do art or do some cleaning stuff, which I already did today. I cleaned out my fridge. I feel like people in my house will appreciate that. It's because there was like so much crap. <laughs> like, it was ridiculous how much stuff was in there. Uh, I'm gonna lean this so then I can get into the underbelly here a little bit. But yeah, because it was like kind of jam packed full, and I'm like, there's probably some expired things in here, and there was. So I just threw those out and dumped them or whatever they needed to be done to them. <laughs> also, another question for the uh, people watching is two things. Totally different from each other, but, you know, it's fine. Um, your favorite animal and how has your mental health been? Like I told you guys, my favorite animal is a panda, and my mental health has been actually okay uh, for the most part. Like I said, I had that a little bit of uh, a little bump there in the road with some emotional things, but after some, you know, venting and talking and reflecting in my journal too I, I realized I just wasn't doing my emotional coping skills as often aka my tarot my journaling you know I just kind of was slacking that I wasn't taking the time to do those things and I am now 100% going to make time for those things because they help my mental health so much more than I realize sometimes and I just need to make time to do them because they're important to me. back of the legs here and then the main part is done I definitely need more I was debating on just using the rest of it but it's not enough it's not enough I did get some pain on my arm though <laughs> it happens see <laughs> But it's fine. <laughs> Every time I paint, I get it all over my hands and my arms because I'm just a messy painter like that. And that's okay. I feel like a lot of people just get paint everywhere <laughs> when it comes to painting. It would be weird if you like didn't get any paint on you because it's like, did you actually do a good job though? Of like getting into every single space here, you know? Also, can we talk about some like TV shows that has dragons? Dragon Tales. Oh my god. Dragon Tales was my shit growing up. Um, it would always be on and I would always watch it and I haven't watched it forever because one, I'm not a child anymore, but two, I don't really gravitate towards it anymore, but it was, it was a good show. Um, what is it? Uh, Game Grumps did a like 
episode where they played a Dragon Tales game and it's so funny. I highly recommend it if you guys just like watching people play video games. I got my Durgan upside down now. <laughs> I gotta get, gotta get in here. Gotta get, 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 get. Sorry, I had black eyed peas stuck in my head. Also, I found out on TikTok that Pond de Replay, the song by uh, Rihanna, is 18 years old as of the other day or whatever, but in general, it's 18 years old. That's insane. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be 26 this year. Like, I feel like that that song came out so long ago, which it did. It's just crazy that it came out in my lifetime. I thought it was before that for some reason. I don't know. Anybody else get like that where you hear about a song that's been out for a certain amount of time, you're like, I swear it was out longer than that, but yeah. <laughs> All right, now um, we're going to do the horns, which are actually, let's do the wings first here. We'll do one side and then the other. Um, I'm going to definitely make them the two reds here. Um, let's put this red out. And this one. Uh, yeah. And then we'll do those little bumps in the back. Sorry about my A going off. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Yeah, let me know how you guys have been doing, honestly, because I do actually care. I know a lot of people say, like, oh, tell me how you are, and then they just don't respond. Like, I do my best to respond to all of you guys, or at least give you guys a heart on the comments that you guys put. I love reading you guys' comments, so it would mean the world to me if you said what you thought of the video or answer any of the questions that I discussed. I don't know. <laughs> you got that James Dean day dream look in your eyes. Sorry, I have that like song style by Taylor Swift stuck in my head right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Such a random song to have stuck in my head. I mean, I was playing it earlier, so that kind of makes sense, but, you know. looking real cute. And I like how fast this dries too. It's pretty nice to be honest. I just noticed that. Well, I'm also using acrylic paint, which makes sense for it to be drying fast, but you know, didn't know how fast it would dry on the ceramic, you know. Oh, 
what another thing I'm doing this summer is going on another trip to New Hampshire with my boyfriend. So you shall expect a vlog of that for sure. Um, little travel vlog. It won't be me verbally updating or anything. It would just want to more or less be like b-roll clips of me showing what we do and stuff. So yeah, I think that'll be super duper fun and I'm excited. We already booked the hotel and now this week I'm just going to be focusing on what we're actually going to be doing. <laughs> um, okay. Now that the, oh wait, I got to do the back of the wigs. What am I talking about? <laughs> Like, now that the wings are done, even though they're not. <laughs> also, let me know what you guys think of these, like, real-time paint-with-me type of videos. I don't know. I thought it would be entertaining, and also you could do whatever you want. You could be cleaning, you could be coloring, you could be also painting something. Or you could just be chilling. Just straight-up chilling watching this. Watching me paint a dragon. Is totally cool as well. Actually, I'm curious now. What are you all doing while you're watching me? <laughs> uh, all the questions. Answer any and all questions below. <laughs> so I'm just a curious girl, apparently. Okay, um, and now I'm gonna do like the bumps here in the same color. <coughs> Excuse me. the like bottom of the feet here the same color yeah feels like I'm like painting this dragon's toenails or something <laughs> goal for this dragon to be but it's just gonna be the easiest way for me to paint these feet <laughs> Also, let me know what you guys would think about me making you know my own bookmarks and uh, like cards I'm gonna do some more research and some other paper crafts to do so that's what I have so far. Oh, Teddy and Henry had their birthday last week, which was super nice. Teddy is now 10, which is insane, <laughs> honestly, but he's in the double digits already in his lifetime. And Mr. Henry is sweet 16. So happy birthday to my doggies. Feel free to say happy birthday to them in the comments and I'll be sure to show them. <laughs> when uh, I'll be like, look 
Everyone says happy birthday. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had a good birthday. I We didn't really do a whole lot for Henry's birthday because we put his birthday as uh, July 4th. Because when we got him, we didn't know when his birthday was. They didn't know. Uh, it's a whole story if you guys want me to do like a story time on how I got my dogs. Because they have quite the unique uh, story um, on how I received both of them. But um, that could be a little story time video I could do. Um, yeah, because we didn't know Henry's birthday, we decided to... Uh, make it July 4th because Teddy's is July 6th and it would just be easy uh, to remember both of their birthdays. Um, so yeah. So Henry's birthday is kind of already on holiday so um, we just kind of celebrated on the 4th. And then for Teddy though, uh, because he was turning 10, I decided to bring him to PetSmart and we got him a new collar that said like he's a birthday boy and then like um then this new toy that you put like treats in henry likes it more so <laughs> that kind of worked out as like henry's gift in a way um and yeah we just took him for a day at PetSmart. i also brought him for a nice little walk that day and you know just did things that he enjoys uh doing because it was his birthday and I know that he loves his walks, he loves his treats, he got so many treats that day. Um, dog's birthdays are always fun because you can like, you know, treat them and, you know, I know that they're dogs and I know some people will be like, why are you wasting your money on a dog thing? I don't know, like a birthday thing. And I'm just like, cause I want to. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Um, I think to match the other bumps, I'm just gonna do the top ones here as well. Um, and just make this all red. <laughs> Cause that's just his favorite color. I'll see you guys like my new princess watch kind of looks like a uh apple watch that's why i got it but i literally got it from five below for only like i think it was less than five dollars but maybe it was five i don't remember um but it's super cute they also have an encanto one and they have like other designs technically for kids but i got it because I didn't want to buy an Apple Watch just to have an Apple Watch, so I got this as like a cheaper version. <laughs> and I like it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> it tells the time for me, which is good, which actually I need to check the time now that I'm talking about it. Oh, it's 1040, okay, not bad. Just have to check my laundry after this. I'm doing some filming of videos today. Like I said, it's rainy out, so just spending all day inside today. And then I'm also gonna do this little nose part here. I'm going to do the other red for the inside of the wings and the underbelly and then we will do the eyes and the fangs last and then this will be all done. It's so cute so far. Um, so let me get my, oh hi Theodore. I didn't even know he came in. Uh, I was talking about him but I guess he's leaving. He's leaving now but that's okay. Um, okay so let's use this red. And uh, work on the wings here. Just gonna lay them on his side. Give me an all red dragon. 
that's my babe's favorite color. Okay, got that wing done. It's looking so cute. It's like kind of like Charmander, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I added orange, it probably would look more like Charmander, but I didn't want it to look like Charmander, so it's gonna look like an all red dragon, Durgan. Okay, then we're just gonna do the underbelly. <laughs> oh boy, this angle. <laughs> I'm gonna start off up here though. It's gonna look so cute. I'm so excited for you guys to see the final result. I'm excited to see the final result. Um. Yeah, let me know if you guys want more paint with me videos like this of just me painting and talking and sometimes I'm just super quiet. <laughs> Target thing. Sorry, I'm so quiet, I'm just, I'm focused, okay? It's like, when I normally paint, I'm just like super quiet. I hit the tripod again, didn't I? Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. I hate when I do that. Okay, and then, <laughs> I'm just gonna do the backs of these real quick, because I just saw some white spots, okay.
go. Oh, look at this little guy. He's so cute. Um, now we're gonna work on the eyes and the fangs and then we'll be all done. So I'm gonna get my, um, where is it? My white paint pen. And we're just gonna lift him. white. That's a little sad. Um, so I guess we'll have to use my regular white paint. This will be about an hour tutorial. <laughs> so I'm just using um, the Apple Barrel multi-surface outdoor indoor satin acrylic paint uh, in white. <laughs> and we're gonna use, do I have like a detail brush? Like a small detail brush, this could work. Okay, and then we will do this thing. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyes! Yay! Um, so I'm going to use this like dark blue in the red. So I'm going to go over the, um, whatchamacallit, the like outer rim with red I decided. dark blue for the inner circle. <laughs> and then we're just gonna do the other side same thing and then I'm gonna do like a little white dot for the eye and a little black dot and we'll be done <laughs> sorry I am like too excited for this maybe but just like I don't know the fact that I'm gonna be giving this to my boyfriend and like we just spent an hour together doing whatever we were doing <laughs> well I was painted I don't know what you guys were doing let me know what you guys were doing as you were watching this down below in the comments because I would love to know Blue. 
cute. <laughs> and then we will do a little bit of black. Here, let me actually use my I have this little dotting tool uh, that I got recently from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the big one for the black and the little for the white. So I'm just going to take a little bit of black paint now. Just a little dupe. And then put that over there. And then I'm going to use the big side for the black. And there we go. Oh, he's so precious. I can't wait to give this to my boyfriend. I'm going to send him a picture after. Because uh, it's not a surprise or anything. He knew I was painting it, but he didn't know when. And the fact that I already got it done, it's like, yay. So here's the little dragon. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be giving this to my boyfriend as a little, you know, this will be his little pet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this paint with me video. Let me know what you guys thought of it down below. If you guys want me to do other forms of painting, like if you guys want me to do this with an actual canvas, let me know. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm going to go wash my hands now. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.